Ah, The Sims 2, an old but gold life simulation game. While it has become a predecessor in the Sims franchise, it still has some interesting secrets and easter eggs. Easter eggs as in references to pop culture, movies, games, and more. Hello guys, this is Onlabi Doang and today I'm going to be showing you 50 easter eggs and secrets in The Sims 2. Of course, there are more than 50, but I limited to 50 so this video won't be too long. If you know any easter eggs or secrets that I didn't mention here, let me know in the comments below. Okay, now let's see what's in store, shall we? If your neighborhood has this water tower neighborhood object, sometimes you can find a flying inflatable pig passing by. Whenever your sim is preparing a food, they might use a carton of milk. On the back of it, you might find a missing person picture of the well-known sim Belagoth, which is a sim famous for its mysterious disappearance in the game. Sometimes you might also find a picture of a clown, which is actually Sunny the Tragic Clown from The Sims 1. If you try to make the Grim Reaper selectable through cheats, which I won't actually do here because it will corrupt my game, and then take a look at his bio, it'll say that he educated from the University of Hawaii. It's also stated that his favorite band is Styx, which is an actual rock band in real life. If you're in the neighborhood view, you might find a hot air balloon passing by. If you go to the free camera mode and take a closer look at it, there seems to be two people there. One of them looks like the Sims 1 version of Belagoth, while the other sim is pretty similar to the guy on the cover of the Sims 1 Complete Collection. The same guy can also be found on the gondola at the river in the neighborhood view. There's a brick wall pattern called Brick Roll, which is a reference to Rick Roll, a famous internet prank where a random link leads to the music video Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. Even the description of the wall stated one of the lines from the song, saying, These old bricks are never gonna let you down. If you have a crashed UFO as the neighborhood object somewhere, sometimes you might find a spaceship flying low and using a searchlight around the crashed UFO before flying back to space. You can buy this television from Buy Mode. If you look closely on its DVD player below, you can see a faint logo of Maxis, the developer of The Sims 2 itself. Someone that's leaning more into the neat personality can sometimes be seen cleaning the window with a sponge automatically, which can't be done manually. As some of you might already know, Will Wright is the creator of The Sims, hence there are some easter eggs referencing to him. You can find his face on one of a girl's shirt. Another one is from The Sims 2 University, where if you're making a student, you can find his sim self in the picture on the background. There's also this neighborhood object resembling the giant head of Will Wright himself that you can place. So I made this house surrounded by the head statue, staring at the poor sim soul. Your sim can cloud gaze, in which they will lay down and look at the sky to increase their fun need. It might be fun at first, but if you're really, really unlucky, the fun might have to come to an end forever because there's an extremely rare chance a satellite will crash down on your sim resulting to their demise. But hey, at least you can sell the satellite for 2000 bucks, so that's fun too, right? If your sim's social need is fully red, a giant bunny called the social bunny will be summoned just for your sim. This bunny can be interacted with any social interactions, except romantic. You can chat with it, tell jokes to it, argue with it, or even fight with it to have your social need fulfilled. Also, other people can't see the bunny, so you'll look like a delusional person while you're at it. Once your social need is back up to halfway, the bunny will then leave. If you watch the Yummy channel on the television, you might find this cooking show. The way the show is represented looks a bit similar to a real cooking show called Iron Chef. Thing. Steamed and braised pork iron chef style. Okay, this dish was created about 300. The phone book children can use when playing chess contains a cover with alphabet letters on it. Despite the fact there's also simlish writing on it, it says a series of. If your sim reaches the top level of the law enforcement career, they'll have the job title Captain Hero. Yep, they become a literal superhero with its own outfit as well. When they go to work, they will fly up in a superhero pose and then return home the same way. Even their co-workers do the same thing. You can actually use a cheat to modify a sim's height. Just enter this cheat on the cheat bar, stretch skeleton, and then any value you want, one being the normal height. Decimals are also accepted. After entering the cheat, your sim's height will change accordingly. They can still interact with everything normally even though the animations might be off-putting. You can use this to have realistic heights like in real life, or you can go full Attack on Titan with this power. 
You can also make them unrealistically short if you enter any value below 1 and have them use this cute waddling walk as well. You can use bullprop testing cheats enabled through cheat and then summon the sim modder cheat object to change a sim's aspiration. From that you can find a secret aspiration called the power aspiration which you can access normally. For one, this aspiration itself doesn't even have an icon. This aspiration is actually an unfinished aspiration that was dropped before the sims to release. Be aware that using this aspiration in your game may cause errors and game glitches. You can buy this table lamp called Pixarm Drafting Lamp. This is a reference to the lamp from the logo of an animation studio, Pixar. There is a wall lamp called Prisoner of Azkaban. This is an obvious reference to a Harry Potter book called Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. You can buy a piano called Chimeway and Daughter Saloon Piano, which is a reference to the famous piano manufacturer in real life, Steinway and Sons. There is a floral lamp called Rave Against the Machine, which is a reference to the popular American rock band Rage Against the Machine. Back then, you can look at the sun and the moon in the sky, but on the newest game update, they're rarely visible now because of the implementation of a wall that hides them sometimes. So here I use a mod that removes those walls so they're fully visible again. Sometimes you can even see that there are two suns or two moons in the sky. This phenomenon was still a thing even before they added the wall. You can buy a dresser called Hold Me Closer by Tiny Dresser Co. This is a reference to a song from Elton John called Tiny Dancer with one of the lyrics saying, Hold Me Closer Tiny Dancer. If you buy the Funkadelic Frequency Stereo System and take a closer look at it, you can find an album cover that looks pretty much like the album The Bands by Radiohead on the shelf below the stereo. If you like to make random strangers your enemy, you better be careful because one of them might be working at a home furniture warehouse. When they get upset because of you, objects you buy from buy mode will be made more expensive for several days. If your same is in the athletic career, you'll be carpooled by this bus. Inside the bus, you can see two fake sims in the passenger seat. In the neighborhood Strange Town, you can play as the Spectre household, and if you take a look on their backyard, there are a lot of tombstones of random people which is still a mystery until now. There's a theory that those are the people Olive Spectre murdered, but the truth remains unclear. Among the people buried are some people called Huge Tanasia, which is a pun of the word euthanasia, Earl E. Demise, which is a pun of the phrase early demise, and rigor mortis, which is also a pun for the phrase rigor mortis, meaning the stiffening of the limbs of a recently dead person. In the Sims 2 University, there is a pinball machine with a sci-fi alien kind of theme called the Election Day. This could be a reference to the movie Independence Day with a plot centering around alien invasion. Still in university, you can buy this bulletin board. If you look closely at it, you can find the word open house which is unusual considering they usually use the seamless language written on objects instead of English. There's a new TV channel for sports in The Sims 2 University. The footage that are shown in the channel are actually from EA Sports games such as Fight Night, Madden NFL, Tiger Woods PGA Tour, and FIFA. In The Sims 2 Nightlife, when you go to the downtown area, you can find a clothing store called Cold Issue. This is a reference to an American clothing retail chain, Hot Topic. If your sim has been abducted by aliens at least once, there's a chance that when you're using this dance sphere from The Sims 2 Nightlife at medium or high speed for some time, you'll vanish and the machine will turn off. It will take around 2-4 to four hours for your sim to appear again. Turns out that you were quote unquote abducted because your sim will then get pregnant and then have an alien baby. In The Sims 2 Open for Business, one of the toys that can be crafted from the toy making machine is Sir Bricks a Lot. This is a reference to Sir Mix a Lot, an African American rapper and songwriter. One of the designs of the toy also resembles the rapper as well. Still in Open for Business, when you go to Blue Water Village Shopping District, you can find this clothing store called Papaya Regime. This is actually referencing an actual clothing retailer, Banana Republic. It's a well-known fact that you can control pets in The Sims 2 Pets, though you can take a look at their needs and stuff. But there's actually a cheat that allows you to actually control them. You just need to enter this cheat code on the cheat bar. Bullprop space control pets space on. 
Now you can control pets to do anything such as going to a destination, jumping on pets and counters, using pet objects, destroying furniture, etc. In The Sims 2 Seasons, if it's snowing, there's a chance that a penguin will come to your lot. You can pet the penguin when it's around, or you can chew them off. Also, they might pee on your yard, resulting in a puddle of water. You can increase the chance for the penguin to show up by building a snowman in which they will interact with it, or by putting a fish on the ground in which they will eat it. Still in seasons, you can buy this decorative scarecrow. It might be inanimate at first when you view it, but if you keep viewing the scarecrow, it will scare the sim. Another one from Seasons is that you can go to River Blossom Hill and take a look on the Roth family. This household is actually pretty similar to the famous Goth family in Pleasant View. The name of the family members are Morty, Stella, Sandra, and Sander, while the members of the Goth family are Mortimer, Bella, which is still missing obviously, Cassandra, and Alexander. Even both of their houses are somewhat similar. There's a radio station on Seasons called New Age. When played, it will play several songs which are actually the build mode soundtrack from The Sims 1. In The Sims 2 Bon Voyage, you can take a vacation to Three Lakes and then go to a community lot. There you can find this giant tree ring in which you can examine. Some notifications regarding the tree's facts will then appear. But then you'll find four of these strange formulas such as DL plus DC, DL plus CG, and more. This is actually referencing all of Don Lothario's lovers, another famous sim from Pleasant View. This includes Dina Caliente, Cassandra Goth, Nina Caliente, and Kaylin Langorak. Still in Bon Voyage, if you go to Takemizu Village and then go to any community lot, you might find a ninja there. He will be seen teleporting around and will disappear after some time. You can learn how to teleport from him, so talk to him immediately before he left. The ninja will then ask you a question with two choices. The choices actually don't matter because any answer you choose will have 50% chance to be wrong and 50% chance to be correct. So just hope for the best. If you manage to answer it right, the ninja will tell you the secret to teleportation and you can now teleport by clicking on the ground and choose teleport here. People nearby will also react if you teleport. If you got the answer wrong, the ninja will then vanish and you need to find him again in other community lots. If you have the Sims 2 Happy Holiday stuff, you can buy a Christmas tree and make a Santa cookie on the oven. If you have both, at night Santa Claus will actually appear from the tree. Other Sims might react to Santa's appearance. He will then eat the cookie if available and after finishing it, he will place a present such as toys below the tree. After that, he will stay on the lot for a while laughing from time to time like a maniac. He'll even use the toilet over and over again. And after that, he'll leave the house. If he is already summoned but there are no Santa cookies left, he'll be upset and leave a lump of coal instead. You can interact with the coal and there will be this note from Santa. Other than that, it's basically a trash. Still in Happy Holiday stuff, you can throw a New Year bash party from the phone anytime. The party will start at 8 p.m. and the party guests will start making a ruckus until midnight. Police might intervene your party, but there's a chance that no police will come. Instead, this old guy called Father Time will join your party holding an hourglass. You can chat with him as usual, but when the time is near midnight, he will start making a ruckus as well. And then when the clock hits 12 a.m., the old guy will transform into a toddler called Toddler New Year. This toddler will then dance around for some time before disappearing. If you have the Sims 2 celebration stuff back, you can buy this sculpture of a cartoon couple hugging each other. They're actually the characters from another ES game, My Sims. If you have the Sims 2 free time and start a new game, your home will then be visited by a guy called Rod Humble, where he will put a present containing a special computer. Rod Humble was the executive producer of The Sims in 2004 and has been working on The Sims from the first game to the third installment. As stated before, Rod Humble will leave a present in front of your home, and if you open it, it will contain this special computer that you can use. The computer has this llama sticker as well, and what's special with this is that you can actually play an early preview of The Sims 3. Once you unlock this computer, you can also play The Sims 3 on the console system. 
in the Sims 2 free time, Sims with enough music and dance enthusiasm might occasionally start whistling. Some of the whistling sounds like a segment of the by mode song from The Sims 1. You can also hear a glimpse of The Sims 2 theme. Still in free time, you can buy this train set. If you already built the town, you can find this house resembling the house from the cartoon The Simpsons. They even have the same windows, doors, garage, and almost everything except for the house color. You can catch the bugs on the ground and then add them into your collection in free time. There's a chance that you might come across a bug called Ringo Beetle. This could be a reference to a famous musician named Ringo Starr, that was actually a drummer for the well-known band The Beatles. In The Sims 2 Apartment Life, there is a hidden lot in Belladonna Cove neighborhood. You can take a look at it by pressing tab to go to free camera mode. It's located at the corner of the neighborhood. Unfortunately, you can access it normally. So I use a camera hack so the camera can go into the corner and then I can select the lot. The building there looks a lot like the hut of Baba Yaga, a mythical creature resembling an old woman from Russian fairy tales. Her hut is actually a wooden house with chicken legs, which looks a lot like the building we're seeing here. You can even see its claws along with their footprints. And those are 50 easter eggs and secrets that you can find in The Sims 2. Again, if you know any other secrets or easter eggs that I didn't mention here, kindly share them in the comments down below. Thank you so much guys for watching this video, and I'm so sorry if my voice sounds a bit off in this video because I'm a little sick when recording this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like this video and want more, be sure to subscribe to my channel as well. See you later!